now the next game up, getting the exact amount of points that Florida's getting versus Georgia. Kentucky is getting 16 and a half points versus Tennessee. Tennessee on the offensive side of the ball is averaging 34.7 points per game, which is 21st in the country. Yards per play is 5.9, which is 43rd in the country. 5.1 yards per rush, which is 25th in the country. Eight yards per pass, which is 29th in the country. And a sack percentage given up of 8.48%. That is 110th in the country. They are really getting after Nico uh, with some of those injuries on the offensive line. 13 points a game on defense for Tennessee, fifth in the country, 3.9 yards per play. That is second in the country for the Tennessee defense, 2.3 yards per rush, which is number one in the country for the Tennessee defense, and 6.2 yards per pass, which is 25th in the country for the Tennessee defense, and a sack percentage of 7.25%, which is 34th in the country. Now for Kentucky, 19.1 points per game. That is 111th in the country, 4.7 yards per play, 113th in the country, 3.8 yards per rush, 87th in the country, 6.5 yards per pass, 102nd in the country, and a sack percentage of 8.97% given up. That is 115th in the country. They are absolutely abysmal in almost every like offensive statistic. Uh, Defensive-wise, they're still pretty good. 19.9 points per game, 21st in the country, 5.5 yards per play, 67th in the country. 3.9 yards per rush, 45th in the country, and 8.7 yards per pass, 118th in the country. So they do struggle there. And a sack percentage of 10.44%. That is fourth in the country. Tyler, what do you have to say about this game? Yeah, for me, I, I like Tennessee, and I like the points. I, it's it's hard for me to be a believer in Kentucky. They go up 10 nothing against Auburn and then just collapse. Um <laughs> Brock Vandergriff is terrible. I just I hate it too because he he obviously was at Georgia for two years, redshirted one, and uh, or actually three years, uh, and then redshirted the one. He obviously didn't pan out for UGA. wasn't gonna beat out Beck. Probably didn't even beat out Brock Vandergriff. I mean, uh, uh, not Brock. Vandergriff. He didn't beat out Gunner Stockton. Now he's at Kentucky. Hasn't lived up to the hype. It's just, it's unfortunate, and I hate the rag on him. But he's just not good. So what does Kentucky do? They go with Gavin uh, Wimsett or try with him, and he's just not any good. He was he was from Rutgers um, last year, and it's kind of kind of surprised me him transferring from Rutgers because I thought that he was decent at Rutgers. But I, I don't know who they're going to go with against Tennessee. I don't really think it matters. I just hope Tennessee is is able to uh, score. They've had an issue over the past few weeks in scoring the football, and it looked like towards the end of the Bama game they finally found something with Nico. He was more comfortable and he was more confident. And when you got a younger QB who's making his stretch out in the SEC, he's able to make some of these throws and he has the confidence, especially with his talent. He could be very lethal. I like Tennessee here, point blank and simple. Now the over under is the only question mark here. I'm going to take the under because I just don't trust Kentucky. I don't trust Kentucky to score at least 13 points in this game. Give me Tennessee. I like Tennessee 31 to 7. I think they dominate from start to finish. They've owned Kentucky. Uh, Again, I can't remember a time in which Kentucky won this game outright. I I literally can't. Um, Tennessee has Tennessee has a winning streak on them. I'm trying to remember the last time Kentucky beat Tennessee. I just can't remember it. This would be a huge upset. Give me Tennessee. I'll lay the 16, 16 and a half. I love it. It's a night game, too, in uh, in Tennessee. So, yeah, Tennessee here big, 31-7. to seven. Yeah, it's going to be interesting because I don't know uh, if, if Nico can play like you said, like he did at the end of the Alabama game. I think they roll in this game rather easily. But can he do that? I've really only seen him put together versus a legit team like a quarter of football that I like. Uh, so it's going to be interesting here. Kentucky can obviously get after the quarterback. Now, can Tennessee's offensive line hold up? That's another question. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, if the scenario happens, what you just said, where Tennessee basically blows them out, I think there's a really good shot. Mark Stoops gets fired after yeah. this game. Uh, and Mike G, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Kentucky's not winning seven games because they'd have to win out. That's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, what? Yeah, there's no chance. But – it's going to be interesting here. Uh, I'm I, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to have to take Kentucky here. I just don't think in the SEC we're going to get – one of the games, Florida and Kentucky, one of them is going to cover. I don't know which one, but I'm going to take Kentucky here just because, you know what, it's been a crazy year. 
it makes the least amount of sense, honestly. Like, just thinking in my head, I would say Florida covers more than Kentucky. But I just think Nico's going to turn it over once or twice, and then Kentucky will capitalize on that or maybe even get a pick six or a fumble scoop and score. Because, uh, I again, their defensive line is still very good, and they're going up against one of the worst offensive lines in the SEC with a quarterback that hasn't proven much to me. So I'm going to count on Kentucky here. They're not winning the football game, but I'm going to take them to cover 34 to 16, so right at 16 wow. points. Uh, and that would put what puts me at 50 points. So I'm going to go over here. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but I'm still I'm going to take Kentucky here. I, I don't love it, but I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to fight my tongue and do it. Yeah, and you make a good point with Mark Stoops. It looks like it looks like he's going to be done. Kentucky fans are done with him. Um, he he was one of Kentucky's better coaches in their history of football. Um, he he had a, you can make him case for being number one. Uh, Kentucky just can't run the football. Uh, they you know they became very one dimensional. And obviously they don't have a quarterback to throw the ball around. I don't know. Are you, let me ask you this. Are you more confident in Kentucky scoring 10 points than you are Tennessee scoring uh, 28? 28. No. If you would have said like 30 or 31, I would have said yes. 28. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, that, that's why I went the uh, the uh, the spread there with 16 and a half. I'm more confident in Tennessee scoring 28 than uh, Kentucky scoring 10. Uh, I mean, the Auburn game was just bad. Um, the Florida game was embarrassing. Uh, they found a way to lose to Vandy after beating Ole Miss, and it looks like they basically sold their soul to win that game. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's for Kentucky. It, the road ahead is uh, not looking too bright. No, because they play uh, – let's see. They play Texas. Florida – or I mean, yeah, Texas plays Florida off their bye week, and then they play Kentucky. So does Kentucky have a bye after this week? Yeah, and, and that's another thing. They, if I'm a Kentucky fan, I wish I had that buy after Florida, or or even yeah, probably after Florida rather than Auburn, uh, or after Tennessee, because it, it's it's brutal. The SEC is brutal. Yeah, going on the road. Is. Yeah, it's it's brutal. And of course, you lost at home to a terrible Auburn team, and you and you really should have been blown out. Uh, you gave up 300 something rushing yards to Auburn. I think it was 340. I mean. It, I'm worried about uh, – see, I'm worried if if Kentucky is on give-up mode. I know it's a rivalry game, but Dylan Sampson should have a pretty good game in this one. Yeah, if they get blown out and uh, Mark Stoops isn't fired, I think they will be on give-up mode. Yeah, for sure. But if he gets fired, I think that might breathe a little bit of life into him uh, coming off a of bye week and then playing Texas, which will be a top, you know, 10 team when they play him. So yeah. it's going to be interesting what happens there. But we're on opposite sides here. But you you took the under here, didn't you? Yeah. Yep. Okay, and we're on opposite sides on that. I think we're almost opposite on every over and under, but we're lockstep in every pick other than this one, so we'll see how that turns out. 